So I pretty much have this whole box of makeup of things that I want to get rid of. Um, I either am just going to throw them away or I'm going to find somebody who wants them. But I have a lot of stuff. I've got some palettes over here too. Um, but yeah, it's just stuff that I don't use anymore or stuff that I just didn't like. And all of the things in here are gently used or only used once or just like swatched. So nothing's like going to be crusty and old <laughs> that I give to somebody because nobody wants that. So I don't really know how to go about this, like how to show you what I'm getting rid of, but I have this whole box in front of me um, and I kind of just want to go through it and see what I have and tell you why I'm getting rid of things or, you know, I mean, if it didn't work or if it didn't like the color or what. Some of these things have been in here for like months <laughs> and I just don't know what to do with them. I don't know who to ask. I feel like I don't have any friends. Um, I ask my mom if she wants stuff and then I'll ask like my sister, but pretty much all of my, not all, but most of my sister's collection is like things that I've given her and quite a few things in my mom's collection are from me as well, so you can only ask them so many times. Um, I have given things though to like to my soon to be sister-in-law, like they just, they don't come over here often and I don't want to wander around this big box of makeup, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to do with it. If you have a suggestion, let me know. Obviously, I can't give things like to the goodwill, <laughs> like makeup-wise. Actually, I don't know if I can. Probably not. That's great. I will say pretty much everything in here just comes down to me not using it, just because I have such a big collection. Like I don't want, um, I don't know. Like I don't want you to think that I hate these brands or I hate these products. Um, I do know everything works differently for everybody, but. Most of these things are just, I wasn't using them because I have so many other things in my collection that I was reaching for even more. So that's why. Does that make sense? <laughs> First up, I have this Judea Slice palette. This is the Culture palette. It's very pretty. It's very colorful. Um, I just don't use it. Uh, I have other colorful palettes, and I feel like as I get older, um, I'm going to be 28, I just don't wear super color, colorful looks anymore. And when I do, I have other palettes that I prefer, like some ColourPop palettes, because I really only wear like green, maybe purple if I'm going to do a colorful look. So it just doesn't make sense to have a giant palette like this when somebody else can get use out of it. Same thing pretty much. Um, with these two palettes, these are this is the Jaclyn Hill two palette and the Michaela palette from Glam White. I just don't use them. This is really pretty though from Jaclyn, I will say, <laughs> but I just don't use it. And it doesn't like it's good, but I'm not going to keep it just for the neutrals in the palette because I have like 36 other eyeshadow palettes. Um, same with the Michaela palette. Very pretty, very good quality. Bad for it. This is a palette actually, this is really boring. This is a Too Faced palette. This is Christmas in London. Um, I think it's from 2018. I could be wrong. It's just really boring. I always get suckered into like Too Faced palettes for the holidays. It is really pretty. Um, I just have these colors a million times over. And I don't really wear pink blush super often, so I'm not sure why I bought it, but whatever. Another Too Faced palette. This is expired, I'm sure. Yeah, this one is from 2018, I think it says. Yes, 2018, 12 month shelf life. This is the Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette. Um, I don't feel bad getting rid of this because every holiday palette they come out with is the exact same, so I'm never missing out on it. Um, it is really pretty. Just nice warm neutral tones with that same random pop of pink and a random dark blue shimmer. Uh, the palettes are fine. I buy them every so often. I don't buy them every year. I probably won't buy them this year. They just launched on Trend Mood. They look boring. I just don't want them. Um, this, <laughs> don't hurt me. <laughs> Ooh, this is the 
Hachi Beauty Pad. It is really pretty. Um, I just don't freaking use it. It's very pretty. Look at that. Like the glitters are really nice in here. The mats are really nice. But you can only do so many kinds of looks with this palette. And I just was literally never reaching for it. I don't know why. I I bought it because I love Tati. I don't watch her anymore, but I, I did. I used to really watch her all the time. Um, I still like her. But I bought it to support her and because the, her brand is going out of business. And I only used it a handful of times. And it's so expensive. So I know that somebody else will use this, though. Because I know there are still people. I still see comments where people want the Tati Beauty palette. There's going to be somebody out here that wants that more than I do. This ABH palette, this is the Primrose palette. Um, it's fine. This is just very like 2016 to me. These kinds of colors. I just don't reach for these kinds of colors like the bronzy, copper, like purpley berry tone tones anymore. And then that blush, this right here, it's just too, it's too warm. It's too orange. It looks not good on my skin tone. Um, ADH just doesn't really excite me anymore. I mean, their newest holiday palette that, that just got revealed is pretty, um, but I don't think I'm going to buy it because she these are like $55. I would rather spend my money on something else. I have a Juvia's Place palette, again, the Warrior 2. I promise I do like Juvia's Place. I do. Um, I just don't, I don't know. I, I didn't need this. I don't know why I bought it anyway. This is an all matte, like, neutral palette. It's very pretty. You could use this for, like, contour and blush if you have deeper skin. Very pretty. I just don't use it. I have these colors in so many palettes, so why did I buy it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I have a problem. There's quite a few eyeshadow palettes. This is a NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Ultimate Queen. It's just not good. <laughs> It's very boring and it's not good. Also very boring and not very good is the Jason Wu um, Matte Agave Palette. It's a nine pan little matte palette. I bought this at Target because I thought that it was going to be kind of like the Makeup by Mario the Master Matte Palette that's always out of stock and it's not. So that's why that's in there. If you like really sheer neutral tones, though, you might like it. Uh, these palettes from ColourPop, um, no. They're not bad quality. That's not why I'm getting rid of them. I just do not wear super blue eyeshadow anymore. This is the Blue Moon palette. It's pretty. I just literally never use it because, like I said, I only really use my greens now if I'm going to use color. And then these. I bought these because I like green and purple so much. I still do. I just don't use them. This is High Society. It's very pretty. It's just a five pan. Um, it's good quality. And then Cashmere Forever is the purpley one. I just don't use them. Nothing special to it. <laughs> just don't use them. This is a Hard KD Mood Palette. The Bear one. This is fine in a pinch. I don't know why I bought this. I think I bought it just to try the formula. That's a shimmer, I think. Yeah, this is a little shimmer. Um, it's fine quality. I just have these shades a million times over. So, And this is only like three bucks, so I don't really feel bad getting rid of it. I have a little quad from ColourPop. Never tore us apart. It's cute, but I literally never used it. I think I just swatched it a couple times. This palette is the worst quality I have ever tried in my entire life. I'm not kidding. I'm not being dramatic. This is the Give Beauty I See in Color Just a Girl palette. Holy Christ. It's not good. I spent forever trying to build up the shadows, like the shimmers, and they just weren't building up. And the mattes are so boring. They're not, there's no pigment. This is like $28. Worst eyeshadow I've ever used. I'm sorry. I love Gwen Stefani too. So I hate saying that. Like it makes me feel bad. But I just, ugh. No. I have this Milani Gilded Flora palette as well. Um, Milani is not my favorite when it comes to eyeshadows. I have the, um, 
the most loved mass power, and that's fine, but this one is just, my God, not good. I bought it because I really like the color story for spring, but it's just, uh-uh. The rest are actually quite powerful. And again, there's really nothing wrong with any of these, aside from these two, actually. These are not good. This one from Target. It's the Vibe Check palette. It's really bad quality. I don't know. Because then I have another one from Target. And it's good quality. So, I don't know. It's very hit and miss with Target ColourPop palettes. Just not good. And then the All Amethyst palette, I just couldn't get this one to work for some reason. It's very pretty. But I just... Uh, didn't like the quality. I know that ColourPop can do better. This palette I just wasn't reaching for. This is the one and done palette. It's very cute. Um, I kept the blush, like the super light pink blush. Um, but it's just a bunch of pinks with brown. It's cute. I just wasn't reaching for it, <laughs> like ever. <laughs> so I thought somebody else could get used out of it. This, again, was never reaching for it. This is the Clay It Cool palette. It's very pretty, it's just not tones that I really wear very often, like those coppery kind of tones, um, and like reds and pinks. I'm not sure why I bought it. I don't know why I buy half the things that I own, because then I just get rid of them. This palette, um, it's just a little too warm for me. I think somebody else would really like this though, because it is super pretty, and it's good quality. This is the Your Golden palette. Um, this is one of the 30 pan palettes. It's very, very pretty. Like, super pretty. It's just, I have these colors in other palettes. I think I got it on sale. That's probably why I have it. Last color pop palette, it, this is just a glitter palette. I, I don't even know when I bought this. Um, it's very old though. It's pretty, they were good quality, but I just don't, I don't really use glitter that often, so I thought I'd get rid of it. It's pretty old. And I think this is the last eyeshadow palette, probably. This is the Rare Beauty eyeshadow palette. This is not good. Not good. <laughs> They're very dry and flaky on the lid, which is sad because the color story is super freaking pretty. That blue, like this right here, well, and this one, it's kind of like a light blue green shift. They're just not good quality. It's kind of hard to build them up. Um, I think someone that has really good experiences with Rare Beauty eyeshadows for some reason. Hopefully the formula improves. I don't know. Oh, and then I have this. It's not an eyeshadow palette, but this is the Rouge Romance palette from Jacqueline Cosmetics. Again, good quality. I just don't reach for them because they're super, super bright. Like, they're really pretty. But it's just, they're too bright. They're too pigmented. <laughs> too pigmented. I know that sounds weird, but... I don't want that in a blush. I want to be able to build it up. I have one concealer that I'm getting rid of. This is the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. Um, it's just, I don't know, I don't like it. It's really full coverage. Uh, it's just a little drying under my eyes. I have really dry skin, and it just wasn't going well <laughs> with my dry skin. ColourPop Tinted, what? Yeah, Tinted Moisturizer. I don't know what I was gonna call it. Um, it's just a little too dark for me, actually. This is the shade Bare 4N. I think I'm usually 3W, so I don't know why I have this, but it's a good product. Um, I've been through one bottle already. I just, I don't know why I bought this shade. This Too Faced, it's not that good. It's very oily, and it just, it sits weird on the skin. I don't know. This is the Born This Way Healthy Glow. I have the shade Snow. It's way too light for me. I don't know why I bought this shade. Again, I, sometimes I think... I'm just excited <laughs> in the store, so I just kind of buy what I can get and hope that it works, and then I get rid of it a couple months later. I, I don't know, but yeah, this is one of that. It just didn't work for me. This foundation is really good. Um, I just couldn't remember what shade I had bought the year before because I went through a bottle of it, and then it started to break. Like, there was half a bottle left, and then it, the bottle broke, and it was leaking. So I bought the Anastasia Voluminous Foundation um, during the 21 Days of Beauty sale, actually, back in March of this year. The one that we, not the one we just had, well, we're in the sale right now. <laughs> I couldn't remember what shade I had bought. So I bought it, and then it ended up being too dark. Um, this is a really good foundation.
foundation though if you have dark skin i really like this i just i can't make this color work i can only make it work in the summer if i have a tan and i usually don't shocker also too dark for me but a good foundation if you have oily skin um, is the makeup forever hd um, skin I feel like I was saying skin too many times. This is the 1N06. It's Y218. I did really like their stick foundation version. Um, I think it was Y225. I think. I don't know. I can't remember. I went through like two of those though back in the day and they were expensive. So I was excited when this came out, but it's just a little too dry and matte. It's kind of got that, that, that satin kind of finish almost on the skin. It is really pretty. It's just a shade too dark and I can't do that natural matte satin kind of finish. This one I'm kind of sad about because I've tried so many times to like this, the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. I have this shade 405 Porcelain. It's a really good shade match for me and I thought I would like it because it's got sunscreen, it's like 24 hour fresh wear for dry skin and it just looks oily and heavy on my skin. I don't know why. Um, but I've tried this multiple times before putting this in the giveaway box and I just can't, I can't get it to work. I don't know why. I have a couple primers and I'm getting rid of these pretty much just because I don't like them. There's no, like, I was just not reaching for them or anything like that. I just didn't like them. I have the e.l.f. Power Grip primer, the pink one. I don't like the stickiness on my face. Um, I've got the Milani Skin Quench. Milani primers are usually good, but this one just felt like Elmer's glue on my face. I do not like that feeling of rubbing in something sticky on my face. Uh, this one is the Essence Hello Good Stuff Serum Primer. It's got watermelon water and niacinamide in it. Just didn't love this. Too Faced Plump and Prime. This did nothing. This was really expensive too. I'm sorry if my hands are shaking. <laughs> I'm hungry. Um, it was like a face plumping primer serum. It was like $48 and it just didn't really do anything. Clarins Beauty Flash Balm also didn't do anything. The Clarins SOS Radiance Booster did not do anything either. <laughs> and then these Burst Drops, these aren't really kind of like a primer. It's just the Mood Lighting Luminizing Glow Drops. Very pretty, they're just too dark for my skin. Uh, this isn't really a primer, it's just like a hydrating mask, but I did not like this. This did nothing. This is also from Clarins. The SOS Hydra Mask. So, I have quite a few bronzing products. Um, let's see, I've got cream bronzers. I have the Soul Body Bronzer. This color is just way too dark for me. It's the shade Light. I meant to get the shade Fair, but I think I was just so excited on the ColourPop website that this was finally back in stock that I didn't notice like what I was buying until I got it in person. I'm like, oh, that's really orange. Um, so that was a neat problem. I'm too excited. And then I have a couple, like, of this kind of. I've got the Milani, the Elf, and the Glossier. They're all just really drying, really patchy, dry too fast. Didn't love them. That's the Huda Glowish Bronzer. I actually do really like this. This is just an 18 month shelf life and I've had this for like two years now and it's just starting to hard pan and it's gross. I think I'm going to just throw this away, not have to give that to anybody. I have the Hula Light bronzer. Just don't reach for it. L'Oreal Infallible bronzer. It's too dark. Um, it's the shade 200 Fair, but it's just it's orange on my skin. It smells good though. It smells like the foundation. And then I have this NYX Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Light. It's uh, too dark. But my camera is going to die, so I'm going to charge it for a little... Oh, I also have this Tower 28. I am throwing this away just because it's old. This is the Bronzino and Sun Coast. I now have the Sculptino, and I really like it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to charge my camera for a little bit, and then we'll... Uh, I have, like, blush and highlight and some lip products and other stuff, so... BRB. Okay, I didn't know that my camera could record while charging. Um, <laughs> Whatever. I forgot that I have some of these little like NYX glow shots. I'm getting rid of them just because I don't I don't like them. I don't like liquid eyeshadow. So that's that. Same with these about face. Um just I don't know why I bought them. I don't like liquid eyeshadow. I don't I don't know. I 
just forget I had like a little bronzer stick from Fenty. I just don't use this. And then also the bright stick from Fenty. Goodness, it's bright in here. You see that? It blends in my skin. <laughs> and then I also have the NYX blender stick. I just don't reach for it. So I'm getting rid of this LYS um, highlighter. It's too dark for me. And then I'm getting rid of all of these LYS cream blushes. I don't like the formula. I think it's very drying. Um, and I have others that I like better. I have some Essence Cheek products as well. The Pure Nude Highlighter is just really old. Um, and then this little baked blush, not good. Highlighter is not good. I have some Super Chocks from ColourPop. These are just really old um, and they're dried out. So I'm actually going to get rid of them. I'm not going to give them to someone. I forgot I also have like an ABH blush stick. This is just too much. Like it's too heavy. The product, it's creamy and it's just it's not great. Um, and it's very drying. It's it's a pretty color. Like it almost looks like a bronzer. It's the shade Peach Caramel. Um, it's just not my favorite kind of formula. So I've got the Elf Halo Glow Blush Wand. This is just, it's really patchy and gross on the cheeks. And then the Laura Mercier. Terrible. Same with this CoverGirl Clean Fresh. This is in the shade Toasty Nude. There's just no pigment, like there's nothing to it. I have another color though, it's deeper, that I have to try. Um, oh, here's the other one. I was like, didn't I have two Laura Mercier blushes? These are terrible, they blend out into nothing. And they're really patchy. I have a Becca highlighter in Moonstone. Some of these. Elf Primer and Beauty Blush that I just never use. This is the shade Always Rosy. Pretty, I just have other colors. And then some Jaclyn highlights. And I also have this Jaclyn <laughs> face powder. This is her putty highlight. It's just way too freaking blinding for me. It's pretty. It's in the shade Ice. I just don't, I'm not a huge highlight person like that anymore. Same with this. This is the shade Spark. It's pretty. It's just, I don't like this bulky ass packaging though either. Like, come on, Jaclyn. And then this is her brightening and setting face palette. Um, I really like this. I just, as you can see, <laughs> I'm done with that shade practically, and I don't use any of the other shades. So I wish that I would have waited until I saw that she came out with singles. So just on me though. I have some Elf uh, little brow pencils. They just weren't my color. Probably get rid of those. I have two brow gels, Glossier Boy Brow. I don't like this. I feel like I'm the only person in the world who doesn't like it. But I thought it was too much. And then the Elf, or not Elf, Benefit Plus Up Brow Wax. I didn't like this either. If you want a good brow wax, like you want your brows to stay all day, even in the heat, the Too Faced Fluff and Hold. Is that what that's called? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, am I calling it the Benefit thing? Uh, no. I have a Fenty like lip stain. This is the Popsicle in Zesty Betsy. I just don't use it. It's very drying on the lips. Um, I like the color. I just don't like the formula. I'm gonna get. I'm actually going to get rid of all of these products. Uh, these are the last ones to talk about and they're just lip products. Um, I have this Pat McGrath Lip Fetish Lip Shine. I got this way on sale on her website and you hardly get any freaking product as it is. And it's just really unflattering on the lips because it's got like a glitter to it. Uh, Jason Wu lipstick. It's pretty. It's in the shade Biscotti, I believe. You can use these on your lips and cheeks, which I never did, but it's just very drying. Um, uh, I prefer like the Makeup by Mario ones. These Rare Beauty lip glosses, they are pretty, but I just never use them. Like, especially this purple one. This is the shade Nearly Mauve. It's very pretty. I just... And then I don't need another <laughs> nude. This is nearly neutral. These Rare Beauty lip oils are not lip oils. They're not. They're like a lip stain, and I don't like them. <laughs> they're weird. They feel like water on the lips. They feel like they're going to be hydrating, but they're not. Like, they're super drying, and they make your lips look really crusty. Maybe that's just my crusty lips. I don't know. But I do not like these. These are not lip oils. There's way too much pigment, and then they leave a weird stain. Um, 
I don't I don't feel really humble with these. I know some people like them, but I mean I don't. I don't. Oh my god, I had a little cream blush hiding. This is a messy cream blush. Um I like this. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just really old. This is strawberry drip. Um very cute. It's just old. I have a KVD vegan butter lipstick. Lip, yeah, I think. And she defines. Um, it's just boring as hell, as you can see. Ugh. It's too bright, and this camera doesn't focus on anything. Yeah, it's just a new lipstick. It's fine. I just don't reach for it. I have two minis like of other colors from this, like this product. Um, really even reach for those either but I'll keep them but this one's just boring it's just a nude and then this oh good lord I don't even know is this sun bum oh my god I thought this was going to be cute I got this at Ulta uh it smells good I don't even know oh nude beach it's just like a like a tinted sunscreen lip balm but it's got like a sheen to it I cannot put it back down great but it's got like a sheen to it, but the sheen, like it's glitter particles, like it feels gritty and sandy on your lips. It's not good. That was like five dollars at Ulta. They looked really pretty, like on the display, because it's like a nude, like peachy color with sunscreen in it with a sheen. But no, it's not good. I think the only thing I have left is this random Bath and Body Works spray. This is fresh coconut and cotton. It smells really good. It's never used. And yeah, that was it. I know, that's a lot of shit. I know. Um, but I just have so much stuff. So I hope I can find somebody to give it to. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this camera is like on my makeup chair, on a jewelry box, on top of a big thick book, on top of a three pound box of M&M's. But yeah, so that was it for this video. I just wanted to show you everything I'm getting rid of and why. Um, nothing crazy. I don't hate any of these brands at all. I don't really even hate any of these products except like the Laura Mercier filter blushes and that sun bum fucking chapstick. But that's about it. Um, I just, I hope I can find somebody to give these to because it's a lot of stuff, and I know that other people will really enjoy this stuff. I hate to just throw things away unless they are like super crusty and gross. Um, other, then I will all throw them away. If it's like a lip product or an eye pencil or something, I don't like doing that. But for the most part, everything here is pretty new-ish. Like not that I just bought it, but in pretty good condition. So I hope I can find some money. Or multiple people, it doesn't have to be just one person, um, to get this stuff to. So it's just collecting dust on the floor in my office slash beauty room. But yeah. <sighs> Maybe I should stop back soon. Oh, no. That's not gonna happen. Anywho, thanks for watching this little haul. Um, I just decided to randomly do this today. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just because I was going to go through it anyway, so I thought, why not put it on camera and show everybody what I'm getting rid of, and maybe what not to buy, um, if you want to have like a similar makeup taste like me, but yeah, again, I don't hate any of these brands, I don't really hate any of these products, uh, it just didn't really work for me, I just don't really reach for them, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'm sorry I look terrible, but I just got off work, and I didn't have time to look better. So, thank you. See you in my next one. Bye, guys.